Pan Asia is a very special place right now. It's uh, uh, five, six, uh, not actually, what was it, 2010. I, I spoke to a gentleman uh, ahead of Sony in, uh, in, in India by the name of Arjun Sankalia. And at the time, in 2010, he was saying that India had just come in to their commercial music awareness. Um, so a lot of what charted was just all Bollywood soundtracks. Right. Yeah. Right. But in the, in the at that time, he said in the last five years, India was, uh, you know, they're, they're growing into commercial music right. as what we would know it now. So they're like, I wouldn't say behind, but as far as appreciating what commercial music is outside of Bollywood, they're they're a lot behind. They're a lot behind. And it's from what I understand, I wish I could remember his name. Is one? It's this one 28-year-old kid who made it his mission five years ago that he was going to start a commercial music scene outside of just Bollywood music and just uh, get it going. And it has actually happened, and it's a thriving scene. He's creating jobs, he's a concert promoter, he's at concert venues. So uh, it felt like we were part of something on the ground floor that's starting in, in uh, Indian culture, so it was really exciting. So, I mean, you, you, you guys have played a lot of big shows and a lot of big festivals. How does Soundwave compare to a lot of the festivals overseas that you play in the US and the UK and Europe and India? And this so feels like one of the biggest things we've been a part of. It just feels so massive and maybe not attendance wise, but just the number of bands, the number of, it's like a, the infrastructure that's set up with all the flights, all the bands, all the trucks, all the gear. It's just, it's mind boggling to me. I don't understand how so this is do you organized. Think it's any coincidence that Qantas just shut down? Did the festival shut down Qantas? <laughs> well, well, I, I think, wonder. yeah, see, that's a bit of a shame. They've cut 5,000 jobs, which is quite a, you know, it's a, it's, it's like having, it's like having a, you know, it's like saying the koala's got to quit its job. So that's a bit of a shame, but you know, whatever, we're here to talk about music. I mean, that's, that's, that's the thing, but... Uh, it's impressive. This festival is impressive, yeah. i got to say. And, and I'm glad we're here to be part of it. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what, how's the new record being received? Well, the new record's pretty old now. Uh, well, it is but, pretty old, but we're talking about it, you coming over again, and you, you, you're playing it again, and that's the hard thing when you come back to play a festival, especially if the record is old, you're still talking about the same record. Yeah. Uh, so, you're, still, you're still playing the same record. Do you, do you, uh, are you playing stuff that might be new that people we're don't not know? Playing, we're not playing anything that will be from the new record that we're working on right now. Um, but we're kind of getting the sense when we're playing these shows now. We're coming to Australia. It's our third time here. Uh, what was it? Three years in a row we've come to Australia yeah. promoting the same record. It's, everyone's like, all right, enough already. Let's, yeah. let's, let's have something new. So we're, we're feeling a bit of an urgency to get it done. And so that's what we hope to do this year. How, how do you generate new material? Are you are you guys are, go, uh, are you guys a band that uh, do it in the studio? Do you make a bit on the road? Uh, do you, do you, is it an influence thing while you're touring? How, do, how does it work when you write new material? I feel like it depends on isolation for us. Like we have to go away. You need and to just, just lock it off. Yeah, lock everything off, and and then we start finding ourselves in a zone. Um, get things happening so we've done that in pockets over the past few years but we've really wanted to go for quantity like this is the, this is the most songs we've ever written for this record we've written more songs for this record than we have for the past three records combined and it feels very important to us like you know I, we've got a new band member who just joined us a couple years ago so it's our first record with him and so we just wanted to get this one right in particular um, but we need to get it done. Man, we always had a guy that uh, we used, uh, was used to work at our label. Um, always told us, you know, you're done with your record when you're out of time, you're out of money. Um, and we're at a place where we're out of both, so it's time to. So the record's be done. done. It, it, it kind of technically is, yeah. the record's done. It may be. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, the, it's there's always a lot hard of songs. When, when it's done, you, we just keep giving ourselves these faux deadlines that just make us be done with it. Um, but yeah, it might be done for all I know. Yeah, cool. Well, you got Adelaide and Perth next. Yeah. Where do you go after Adelaide and Perth? Where can we find Mute Math for the rest of the year? It's finishing up this record back in the States. That's it. So you're yeah. going to lock it down? You're going to disappear for a little bit? Probably, yeah. And well, then just, may, maybe come back, I don't know, early, to, back here. I don't know, soon, 2015 maybe? Yeah, early. it's been made yeah, very just, clear to us. We're definitely not coming back. It's, it's going to be done this year. Just yeah. just be good to let everyone know, so if you disappear, we all know you're not dead. Yeah, no. That's no, what no, I'm no. saying. You know, we're just, okay. yeah, we're in a, a cave working. It's a public service announcement from you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, gentlemen. Well, thank you very much for joining me. It's been an absolute Hello. pleasure. Thanks for your, thanks for your time and um, all the best for everything. If you want any more information, we'll put the website up there. You can follow them, get the records. You can see the tour dates. Uh, you can download their photos, put them on your phone if you're that way inclined, or all that sort of stuff. Nice glasses, by the way. I'm really liking this. And I do. I must apologise for the whole jacket thing. Oh, no, no, no problem at all. I, I wasn't sure what you were going for. You're like trying to dress me. Like, no, 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 no. I wasn't trying. <laughs> no, it was just, it was just bunching up. I just wanted oh, to sort okay. of, sort of so help you're, it out. You're looking there. out. I'm looking out for you, man. You're looking out. Thank you. I'm looking out for you. All right, gentlemen. I'll let you go. You got plenty more interviews to do and, uh, and 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 more time to spend hanging out here at Soundwave. So thank you very much. Cheers. All right, man. Good to meet you, man. Thank you very much, guys. Right, Cheers. Right, it's me, Matthew, from Soundwave 2014 for Industry Insider.